welcome friend to this session of uh, command patterns uh, in this session we will try to understand what are, what is the fundamental of command patterns definition of it and we will also try to go through a simple sample code and try to understand that how we can implement the same in actual projects so let's first understand the fundamentals they, they belong to behavioral categories of command of design patterns means what uh, beha behavioral categories or design patterns are are those categories you know or are those design patterns which help us which helps us to change the behavior of a project without altering the main structure of your current project so all the uh, design patterns which falls into behavioral categories will help you to change the behavior of a project and uh, preserving the original architecture of the project command pattern allows us to allows a, a request or action to exist as a class and object so basically let's say that you are doing a control x and a control y so it will save that control x action into a class or into an object which you can later retrieve and do operations on that so when will you use command patterns is basically when you want to uh, maintain your request as classes and objects and with maintaining request as classes and objects there is a complete clean uh, cleanliness in the code which is maintained here's an actual example of it let's say that we have a menu with file open print exit so file open print exits are basically actions or we can say they are basically request now if you look at you know a normal way we will code this actions is that probably you know we can just have a if condition saying that if the str action is a file then do something you know if it's open then do something what happens with this is that we have lot of if conditions in the project and tomorrow if you want to add a new action then basically again we add a new if condition so uh, the the basic the basic point here is that you know any change in or any addition of new actions into the ui uh, also uh, also has to be replicated in the if conditions so here's a clean uh, way of approach to that what we do is that we basically start housing these uh, commands into simple classes okay so for example print we house into a print class a file we house into a file okay the only thing which we have to do is that we need to ensure that we implement them from a common interface okay second what we have done is that in order to identify this class or this object you know we have kept some strings like exit or we can say these are keys by which we can pull up these objects open file and print and then they these classes have their own way of implementing these actions for example probably i've just displayed here what this uh, what these actions do but here you know uh, in this uh, what you call in this section you can put your custom action for every uh, command now we also need to uh, have a invoker method which actually will which act will actually will have the collection of these commands so what i've done is i've created a simple cls invoker class this invoker class will help us depending on what the action is to help us to get that action object so that we can execute it so what i've done is that i've just added all the actions into one array list and then i have a get command method which i've kept in my invoker which will help me to get the actual object which has uh, get, get the actual object depending on the command what we need now if i look at my client code it's very simple we just create object of the invoker class first second depending on the action get the object and execute it so now you can see that there is no if conditions over here it's simple three lines of code uh, create an invoker object pass in the command action and then execute it let's make a simple code walk through of it so what we'll do is that we'll basically just look into the code it's very simple it's the same thing what i've discussed i have a simple i execute interface and this i execute interface basically is implemented in all my actions for example file exit open and print and then i have my menu over here if you look at my menu like if i say what i've done is if you look at my menu uh, where the actions are there is nothing in that what i've done is that i just told that please pass me what action it is get the object from the invoker and execute it so there is no if condition tomorrow if i want to add one more class i can just go and add one more class implementing it and put the appropriate string there so with this what happens is basically you have housed your commands into objects what are the practical implementation of uh, command patterns is 
your control Z and control Y like where we have a undo and a redo so what what you know you can probably see that in any of the famous editors like word or uh, PowerPoint or probably Excel where you do a control X and you do a control Y what it does is that it saves this whole command with the data inside a object and when you do a redo or undo right it just reverts back to the old actions so basically what's happening is that you save actions with data so when will you use this command pattern you will use command patterns you know when you think that uh, you want to store actions and data together and do some kind of redo and undo operations for example if you're making a game project where you know uh, you would like to see that uh, because in games normally the actions play a more important role so what you would like to see is probably uh, uh, somebody shoots here or he walks right so these are actions which you can just command into a where you can just house them into objects and then you know use them reuse them again and again so ask yourself a question that do i need to store commands and its objects and its state or i can say do i need to maintain states of objects as commands then definitely use this pattern or if you see that your actions are very complicated okay and these actions can be housed into common uh, common they can be housed from a common interface then you can house these actions into objects and reuse them again and again i hope that uh, we were able to clear your fundamentals about command patterns in case you have any doubts and suggestions you can always email me at shivantaskarkoyral at yahoo.com in case you intend to buy the complete dvd plus notes and source codes and everything of design patterns uh, please mail us at questpond at questpond.com and we'll reply to you accordingly uh, you can also visit www.questpond.com and uh, look out for more videos of design patterns uh, definitely we have co covered almost all design patterns in uh, in our videos and i'm sure that it will help you in long term thanks and thanks uh, for hearing us